Hi, my name is Karen Burton and I'm the Marketing and Communications Coordinator at the Provincial Exhibition of Manitoba. I'm joined here today by Ron Christensen, General Manager at the Provincial Ex, and Shannon Carvey, Co-Chair of the Manitoba Ag Ex, Chad Stiles, Manitoba Rodeo Cowboys Association Committee Member and Competitor in the Manitoba Finals Rodeo, Jen Skihar, our Trade Show and Education Coordinator, and Dallas Johnson, Co-Chair of the Manitoba Ag Ex. I'm Thanks everyone for being here today and, and you at home for watching. The Provincial X has an event coming up at the end of October, Ron. Can you tell us a little bit about the uh, Provincial X as well as Manitoba Ag X? I sure can, Karen. Our organization has been putting on events in Brandon since 1882, which is uh, the same year the city was created and for Western history buffs it's also the year of the shootout at the OK Corral and the year that Jesse James was murdered. So uh, we've been putting on fairs here in Brandon ever since then. So we've got three major events, our Royal Manitoba Winter Fair, our Manitoba Summer Fair and coming up right away we have our Manitoba Ag -X. So our organization is focused on uh, generating community pride, celebrating agriculture and uh, contributing to the economy of our region. So we have 39 volunteer directors of our Ag Society. We have a staff of eight full-time individuals and of course we hire uh, extra staff for event time as well as hundreds of volunteers that help make our events run so smoothly. Uh, Ag -X, Manitoba Ag -X this year will be October 26th to 29th in the Keystone Centre right here in Brandon. It's Manitoba's largest all breeds cattle show and this year we are delighted to partner with the Rodeo Cowboys Association to host the Manitoba Finals Rodeo and a large number of other equine components to our show this year. We're expecting over 120 cattle exhibitors, probably 700 head of cattle, um, close to 200, probably more than 200 equine exhibitors with uh, 300 horses coming. So will be uh, an action-packed week. Excellent. So it sounds like Manitoba Ag -X has really grown from last year. Does this mean you'll be using pretty much the entire Keystone Center? Most of it, Karen. Our, our cattle shows will be in the Westoba Ag Center of Excellence at the north end. Uh, cattle barns will be the Canada Room and all the north barns of the of the Keystone Center with our, our horse barns will be in the Enns Brothers Kinsman Arena. Uh, moving down towards Westman Place with Exhibition Hall and City Square. So the cattle show folks will be in the north end and the horse and rodeo events in the south end. So we'll have uh, a lot of the arena full. We'll have cattle sales and horse sales a uh, couple of days of the event and they'll be taking place in a sales ring in the Enns Brothers Arena. And uh, just from one end to the other we'll be have action from all week long. Great, thanks Ron. Shannon, as a member of the planning committee, events like this don't just happen. Can you tell us what goes into planning an event like this and, and what, what it takes to put this on? We rely heavily on our Manitoba Breed Associations. Um, each, each breed does have a volunteer association that ties into everything they do from promoting their own breed to organizing events and so we have reps that sit on our AgEx committee from those breeds and uh, they all put in a tremendous amount of time uh, helping us organize our show and making sure that it all runs very smoothly when they're here. Uh, we also are excited to host the Western National Hereford Show which is uh, not a new show for us but we, we uh, haven't had a National Hereford Show here for quite some time so what that means is that we will draw uh, purebred Hereford cattle from further afar so we are hoping that we'll have cattle here from uh, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba and possibly Ontario so um, that's quite a draw for us and they are hosting a sale as well so um, you know it's kind of an exciting time and there will be well over you know 200 head of cattle here uh, just Hereford cattle so that's a big deal and we also are hosting the National Limousine Show which will entail cattle coming from all over Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba to show at AGAC so it's a great opportunity for us to be able to host those shows and have people come and see what kind of a facility and city we have uh, here in so Brandon. getting those national shows is, is a pretty big deal. Oh abs AGAC. absolutely it is and it's uh, 
I mean, for us, it's exciting to have outside exhibitors that don't normally come. Uh, but not only that, but promoting, you know, our organization as the Provincial X to be able to host something like that and in a great facility such as the Keystone Centre. Great. So this year, the Manitoba Ag X has partnered with the Manitoba Rodeo Cowboy Association to host their year-end finals, the MFR. This is a big deal in the world of rodeo. These athletes have been competing all across Manitoba all summer long to compete in the MFR. Chad, you're not only an MRCA committee member, but you're also a seasoned rodeo competitor. Can you tell us uh, what this competition means to the athletes? Uh, well, it's a, it's great to come to a great venue and rodeo. Um, we have all kinds of opportunities in the, in in the province and outside of the province as a sanctioning body to work with great committees all year long and and go to really great communities. Uh, this is a culminating event. is is really uh, it's great because we get to showcase culture and heritage and we get to focus on sport and that's really what rodeo is all about. Um, and the culture heritage piece is what we really want the city people to come and experience and that's consistent with uh, the mission of the exhibition and and why the rodeo and egg X are such a great blended component because it uh, it ties together that whole equine cattle and ranching life and cultural and heritage piece that the show ultimately comes together to showcase so we're very excited to be on back on board with the exhibition uh, it's our 36th year hosting our finals in Brandon and it's exciting to, to bring an all-in-one package to, to the city. Great. Can you explain to us a little bit uh, about how the competitors are judged and what kind of awards that you have at the MFR? Uh, well, the Manitoba Finals Rodeo has uh, done a great job from uh, on a Canadian Western pers perspective or scale in, in keeping up with um, you know, remaining attractive as, as far as other amateur organizations uh, across Western Canada. Um, the prize money here is is consistent on par with, with what other associations offer across Western Canada and uh, of course the venue is what, what brings people. It's a great place to rodeo. The facilities are awesome. Uh, the year-end awards are fantastic. and. Um, and rodeo people, uh, like in most amateur sport, are as motivated by the people aspect of the sport. So uh, the awards and rewards are great, but um, we do it for all kinds of other reasons too. So having lots of people in the stands is, is definitely going to be an asset for the competitors. There is nothing like an exciting night of rodeo in the Keystone. I bet. Well, on the, the rodeo, having the rodeo in Westman Place, there's plenty of great seating. It's accessible for anybody, any mobility issues. There's lots of, uh, lots of accessibility in the building. And three nights of really exciting entertainment. It sounds like a perfect place to take the family for the night or even a date night kind of thing. So, Ron, how can we get tickets for the rodeo? Uh, tickets are only $20 for adults, $10 for uh, children under 12, and under 6 kids are in free. And they're available at the Keystone Centre box office. Uh, there is a Keystone Centre service fee attached. They're available, as I said, at the Keystone box office or through our website at manitobaagx.com. Great. Ron, every year the Provincial X hosts a Taste of Beef to celebrate the beef industry. Now this event has had a few different looks over the years. Can you tell us this year what we can expect for Taste of Beef? Yeah, for Taste of Beef this year, Karen, we're, we're setting up in the Roadhouse at Canad Inns. Uh, we'll have a, a guest speaker to tell us a little bit about the, how the beef industry and cattle showing and that type of thing impacted their life. Um, we're uh, in honor of the, uh, the Beef Week theme of supporting our beef industries. We're calling it a meet and greet and that looks better on paper than it does when I say it. But it's, uh, it's an opportunity to network with our, our local businesses. Brandon is definitely an agriculture related town, agriculture supported town. Um, a lot of our industry leaders are supporting Orders of our industry are there. Um, the chef at the Roadhouse will be preparing a variety of, of beef dishes. It's served in a bit of an informal format, um, kind of a sort of a chamber luncheon type idea environment where uh, come hear a, spe a short speaker presentation about the beef industry and uh, meet and greet and see what's happening with everybody. Find out what's happening the rest of the week at AgX and. Uh, and how you can become part of it. 
That's great. I was at the Taste of Beef last year, and I know the food was really fantastic. They uh, they do a great job at the at the Roadhouse. Um, how can we get tickets for this meet and greet? Uh, tickets are available through our office at 204-726. 3590 or uh, go on our website as I said manitobaagx.com and uh, there's a link there that'll get you through on the email and tickets are $25 um, we're going ticketless on this to save a tree or two so there uh, contact our office and we'll have you on a list um, and we'll uh, check that list off at the door. So uh, we say we're selling tickets. You won't receive a printed ticket, but uh, contact our office and come and join us at Taste of Beef. Great. Well, from cattle shows to horses to shopping, Manitoba Egg X has something for everyone. Shannon, tell us again what's going on during the day. And admission is free, I understand, until 6 p.m. every single day? That's correct. So anyone that would like to come down and take in any of the daytime activities, uh, admission is free to them. We've got the Manitoba Super Horse 5050 sale and futurity, the Narex bar Barrel of Cash prospect sale, uh, the Hagen Performance Horse Ranch sale, Fall Classic Ranch Sorting, the Manitoba Bucking Stock Futurity, the National Limousin Show and Sale, and the Western National Hereford Show and Sale. Um, there's also a uh, trade show happening and lots and lots of activities during the day. We have jackpot shows, pick of the barn, all of that is free to come and, and watch and, and take in. Right. And where can I get a daily schedule of all you these events? You can go to our manitobaagx.com website and there will be a schedule there to print or save on your phone or whatever you'd like to do. Excellent. So this year's event sounds like it's really great. It's jam-packed, uh, free admission all day long. That's really great. Chad, for the rodeo athletes that are out there that are competing, I understand there's a couple more weeks of rodeos uh, just to make sure they're in those finals. What's one piece of advice that you could give to those competitors? Uh, well, probably the most exciting format of the Manitoba Finals Rodeo is it is a sudden death event. So the MRCA champions are in fact crowned Saturday night at the finals. Um, that makes for, uh, again, a really exciting culmination to a rodeo season. So uh, a piece of advice, I guess, would be to stay consistent, stay solid, and try to, uh, try to work your way through the three days as consistently as you can. And for the spectators that are coming, lots of cheering. Be there for the athletes and, and show your support. Yeah, lots of, lots of cheering, and there's always that opportunity. There's great contract acts in addition to the eight major events and the top ten. Um, on the regular rodeo season are going to be there, so it's going to be awesome. Dallas, you and Shannon are both beef producers. What does an event like this do for the beef industry in this area? Well, it gives producers in Manitoba and Saskatchewan, hopefully Ontario, a chance to showcase their program. They'll have young stock out that their bulls they'll be looking to sell next spring in their bull sales, breeding females, and the commercial show those producers can show what type of animals they're raising, replacement stock that they would have for sale at their farm, because not everybody raises purebred cattle. Commercial cattle, cattle is a huge part of the industry, and it just gives them an opportunity to showcase the program. Mm -hmm. And Dallas, Ron mentioned that there's a full equine component to Manitoba Egg X this year. What are some of the events going on during the day and free admission for the public all day? Yeah, it's free admission all day. There's the Manitoba Super Horse 5050 Futurity, the Hagen Performance and Ranch Horse Sale, the Narek Barrels of Cash Sale. We have a uh, rough stock bucking Futurity, which will be horses and bulls that are young, that they're looking to promote. Uh, goes on all day in the main arena and so admission is free. So lots going on. Yeah, it's going to be a packed. Definitely uh, something for all different ages, I would imagine, too. There's going to be constant constant action all day long. Yes, it should be really good, followed good. up at night by the finals rodeo. Great. Now, the Provincial X provides uh, egg, edu egg education through all of their events, and Manitoba Egg X is no different. Jen, can you tell us about the egg education programs you're offering through Egg X this year? This year is the seventh year for Moomania, and it's a program for kids in grades three to five to learn about the cattle industry. So they'll come and they'll go to six different sessions and by far the most favorite session is the beauty school for cows where they learn about how cows are, get ready for the shows that are happening. 
um, and then at the end of Moo Mania each time, they get to see a mock auction show and sale. So they get to judge them, and then they buy them with Moo Bucks, and then after the end, we send them pictures with their classes and tell them how their heifer did in the show. And new this year, in conjunction with the equine events, is um, the Equine Academy, which is going to be for kids in grades 6 to 8, and they're going to learn about the horse industry and the rodeo industry. So it'll be really good that way, bringing them in. There'll be about 500 kids that go through all together over the two days. Wow, that's a lot of kids going through. How many schools do you have involved in that program? Um, in the Equine Academy, probably six. In Moomania, between 12 and 16, depending on class sizes. Wow, that's a great opportunity for kids to learn where their food comes from and uh, how horses are one of agriculture's two athletes, for mm -hmm. sure. Now, Jen, you also look after the trade show for the event, and I'm a big fan of the, the trade shows. Uh, you can often find the most unique items at the trade show. Uh, what can we expect this year from the vendors? You know what, we're going to bring in the staples, mini donuts, cotton candy, fiddlesticks, coffee, that sort of thing. But as you said, we bring in the unique gifts. So we also have lots of different Western wear and tack. We'll have some house stuff. We will have metal art and different types of jewelry. So it's definitely an opportunity to come out and see them. With the afternoons being free, we do actually have the trade show open from 4 p.m. till 10 on Thursday, and Friday and Saturday from noon until 10 o'clock. So you can actually get in to see them when it's a free afternoon as well. And when you're at the rodeo, you can stop by and pick up something, a new belt or a new buckle. Great. Thanks, Jen. Well, that's it for our time today. Thank you all for joining us and for all the details on this year's Manitoba Ag Ax taking place in Brandon at the Keystone Centre. Thank you at home for watching and mark your calendars. It's free daily admission to all the cattle and equine shows throughout the day, October 26th to the 29th. Manitoba Finals rodeo tickets are only $20 per night and they're available at the Keystone Centre box office or online at manitobaagx.com. For more information about any of the provincial exhibition events, follow them on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram.